This is question number five of exercise 13.4 from the chapter probability. The question is find the probability distribution of number of successes in two tosses of a die where a success is defined as in first part the number greater than four and in second part six appears on at least one die. Okay. Now to solve this question first of all now the sample space of the two tosses of a die can be written like this. We are not going to waste the time in explaining how the sample space is obtained. So because it has been done many times and it is very simple to observe the sample space. So we consider further the that the x is the number of success in two toss of a die. Okay, then x can take a value 0, 1 or 2 because a number greater than 4 if obtained on a throw of a die is a success. Okay. So in any case if this is not obtained in both throws then we are going to get 0 success. If it is obtained only that uh, in one of the throws we are going to get a number greater than 4 then this would mean 1 success and in both the cases in both the throw of a die we get a number greater than 4. Therefore, this would mean two successes. So x that is a random variable can take the value 0, 1 or 2. Now probability that x is equal to 0 that is probability of no success would be probability of getting a number less than or equal to 4 in both the tosses. That is probability of getting and this would be equal to probability of getting a number less than 4 in the first toss plus sorry into the probability of getting a number less than 4 in the second toss okay and uh, the probability of getting a number less than or equal to 4 in first toss would be equal to 4 by 6 because there are four numbers which are uh, that is which are uh, less than or equal to 4 Z 1 2 3 and 4 and total possible outcomes are 6 okay when a dice is thrown that is the favorable outcome upon total outcome would be equal to 4 by 6 into 4 by 6 or this would be equal to 4 by 9 on simplification. Similarly, probability of x is equal to 1 that is only one success was obtained would mean that probability of getting a number greater than 4 in first toss only and in this would mean that in second toss a number less than or equal to 4 is obtained plus probability of getting a number greater than 4 in the second toss. So this would mean that in the first toss a number less than or equal to 4 is obtained and this would be equal to uh, 2 by 6 into 4 by 6. 2 by 6 here represents the probability of getting a number greater than 4 into 4 by 6. This is the probability of getting a number less than or equal to 4 plus 4 by 6 into uh, 2 by 6 and this would be equal to on simplification 2 by 9 plus 2 by 9 or 4 by 9 and further probability of x is equal to probability of that in both the throws we get a number greater than 4 would be equal to 2 by 6 into 2 by 6 or 1 by 9 on simplification so the probability distribution of number of success in two doses of a die where a success is defined as a number greater than 4 can be written like this. So x can have value 0, 1 or 2. This is the probability of x and this would be uh, for 0 the probability of x when x is equal uh, probability of no success is 4 by 9, probability of 1 success is 4 by 9 and probability of 2 success is 1 by 9 which is the required answer. Okay. So now we are going to take the second part in which we have to calculate the probability of success in two tosses of a die and the success is defined as 6 appears on at least one die. Okay. So like the previous question in which the sample space was not, was not of any importance in this part the sample space is also not required but we should know it it improves the understanding so we are not going to consider the sample space so 
we assume that the x the, the variable for which we have to uh, calculate the probability distribution is equal to getting 6 at least once when a die is tossed two times okay so this would be equal to this can take the value 0 or 1 here it should be noted that uh, x will take the value 0 because there would be no success when uh, 6 is not going to appear on any of the throw that when the die is tossed two times okay now as it is said in the question that success is defined as 6 appears on at least one die okay so we can get only one success and the success would be like this that 6 appear 6 should appear on any of the two throws if if it is going to appear on both the throws if it is going to appear on a single throw that is first throw or on the second throw then then too it is also going to mean a success and there is only one success possible okay so it should be made clear that there is not a possibility of two successes there is only a possible of one success therefore x is going to take the value equal to one okay so further the probability of x is equal to zero that is probability of no success would means that six do not appear on each throw and this would be equal to 5 by 6 into 5 by 6. 5 by 6 is, is taken here because 6 is going to represent total outcomes and 5 is going to represent 5 is going to represent the 5 favorable outcomes. So 5 by 36 that is probability of getting a number which is not equal to 6. In, and it is multiplied twice because in both the cases a number not equal to 6 is obtained. That, that is why it is going to take the value 25 upon 36 and probability of a success that is one success would means that or a simply success would means that probability that 6 appear on one die and this would be equal to 1 minus probability that 6 do not appear on any die and this would be equal to 1 minus 25 upon 36 and this would be equal to 11 upon 36 so the required probability distribution can be written like this this is the value of the random variable this is the value of probability of x and it can take the value 25 upon 36 when x is equal to 0 and 11 upon 36 when x is equal to 1. So which is the required answer. Friends, thanks for watching my video. To watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates, subscribe and like the videos on these channels on YouTube HSK Shiksha and Math Help by HSK. Thank you.